good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to the, my channel thanks for watching my videos and supporting me really appreciate it and uh, today I'm going to Castle Troy center So you can see nice houses on my right hand side and left hand side. It's very nice and quiet place and uh, this is uh, countryside. I like it and uh, the air is very nice, fresh and if you are coming from a big city then you can feel the difference that uh, fresh air all good so we have a lot of trees and greenery here in Ireland which is very good These orange sign means roadworks, so maybe right hand side or left hand side roadworks. So Limerick is about 6 kilometers from here. So golf club is on my left hand side, roadworks, you guys can see it, you can say me go. check of our fuel economy as well so average fuel consumption is at the moment 29.7 miles per gallon so I'll reset it and then re let's see what will be the mileage Weather is warm today. Uh, let's see what's the temperature today. Temperature is 15 degrees, which is good. Oh, this guy is driving very, very slow.
So we left Rahin and from Rahin to Kessel Troy from this route or by this route will take us about 10 minutes max which is very very good and it's about 10 kilometers from Rahin to Kessel Troy not Kessel Troy towards Roxborough almost so from Roxborough to Kessel Troy maybe another four to five kilometers So we are on the bridge, right hand side motorway towards Dublin, left hand side Coke or Shannon, no sorry, this one is for Shannon one. It's not, uh, for the left hand side, the, there is not a motorway, that's a carriageway, a dual carriageway. So we are almost here in Roxborough, we had a few seconds. What is he doing? After this one Can you see a school over there? So I'm going to Kessel Troy first, I have to collect something and after that I have to go to University of Limerick, I think I left something there, so we are going to University of Limerick, so we are on Dublin Road, we can't take a right from here, so we have to take a left. So there are two ways to go to University of Limerick or go back to a city centre once you can take a right on the roundabout take a third exit a one two third fourth sorry fourth exit or there is a second way to go to UL so I'll take this one I hope so that this will be the quick one
so there are two entrances for university one is this one and one is another one I think another one you already watched it in my another videos so this is second entrance so you guys can see some university as well there's a car park I wish if I don't stuck in the traffic I'm in a bit in a rush so let's see okay so this is UL sports arena there is a gym uh, I heard is a very nice professional I haven't been there so I don't have a clue but I heard is very nice so maybe I'll go one day and find out So as you can see that we are in University of Limerick construction is going on we just cross the traffic lights at the right minute or right second so if you want to go out you will take a first exit and if you go this way you have to go take this exit second one so yeah, we came at the right time if you come back about half an hour or half an hour later this place will be crazy busy full very very busy long queues look at the traffic light this traffic light is very very slow University is nice, clean, beautiful. Main buildings are on the right hand side, few offices on the left hand side as you can see the buildings as well we just passed by and from here onwards villages, uh, Drumbro villages on my right hand side there is Apache Pisa as well which is very famous here over there. So after this bridge county change as well so we are in County Clare now we are not in Limerick at the moment from here County Clare starts after the bridge and on another side of the bridge is Limerick so you can imagine university is so big
So pitches are on my left hand side. I think they can play here football, hockey, and sports like that.